<laughs> that is good banter. Oh, oh, oh. over to you, mates. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 79. Uh, the weather is fine. The weather is and fine. It is a big episode. We're, we're nearly it's in the... We're nearly up to eighty, which yeah, is uh, I gotta tell you, we are running hot. I did I did not see that coming, Tommy. No, I, I thought did not um see that coming. I thought around episode seven or eight, nine, I'll, I'll be honest, I was thinking this this isn't gonna go the distance. This nah. is uh this is a fad. Uh we're out of stories. Out of stores. And but I tell you what, we have uh, we, we're really getting on a roll. Well, things got... are happening as well. Like obviously during the COVID, that that was tough. And uh, yeah, but the things happen. I'm a married man, and obviously, once again, we will put it out there. This is coming. Uh, we've recorded this about two weeks yep. ago. Ago. So I'm still in Port Douglas. So as you as you are now holding this microphone, you are not married. But everyone at home. Um, as you're listening to this, Evan's married. Evan's married. So, and I'm in. I'm on Fitzroy Island. That's that's where I am. Okay, and and, and so the next episode, eighty, is going to be all the wedding stories. That's going to be the wedding that's stories. Gonna be all the wedding that's going to be Tommy shit himself. Yep, shit myself. Um, the, the cigars didn't get smoked smoked at all. No, the um, uh, trying to me trying to find a lawyer. You trying to find a lawyer. For something I probably did. Oh yeah, yeah, you're trying to find a lawyer. Well, I'm just trying to. Yes, yes, trying to, yes, yes. Trying to cover your tracks. Trying to trying to work yes, out what's yes, going to happen. Your honor, in the no, future. your honour. Yeah. Um, am I going to keep custody of the kids? Yeah. Kind of stuff. So, so uh, uh, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. So it's a bit, it's it's topical, but it's going to be a few weeks later. Yeah. So we're sort yeah. of at the so, moment telling stories that we I, I would happened say, a few weeks ago. happened a few weeks ago, and we probably didn't get time to say in the episode. That's so, it. Uh, but uh, this right, one... Right. Hit us, mate. Hit here us. we go. Here we go. So this one, this is a few weeks back now, I did a club. And I won't say what club. Um, uh, get on stage. The place is rocking. Saturday night, good good crowd, probably about 80, 90 in. Great. They're all excited. Pumped up. Uh, and, and the gig's going well. Ten, 10 minutes in, there's one guy sitting over by himself. Um, farted. Did he fart? He didn't, he didn't fart. He, and I, so I don't know why. He's, uh, he doesn't look like a footballer. Okay. He's sort of a bigger bigger bloke, probably early 20s, mid, mid, mid-20s. mid and, um, yep. and and he's, he's sort of yelling some weird shit out. And, like, um, like oh, oh, no, I've only got one testicle. No, like, oh, oh I don't know about that. And it's, it's sort of everyone's looking over at him. As and you're telling your jokes. Yeah, yeah. And, it? Um, and then I'd, I'd finish something and, oh, 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 oh that's not what I'd do. And it was like, all right. Was it and, impersonating the um, Chinese restaurant guy? I'm not sure what he was doing, but um, but it was uh, it was a little off-putting. Yep. I've got to tell you. So eventually, uh, you you got to acknowledge that. You, you, do. You, know, you sort of hopefully it goes away, but eventually you you acknowledge it. And I, was, and I just I didn't want to go too hard. I've got a bit of a rule: punching up, not punching down. And and, and you my, start to real. I think you start to realise that if they keep doing it, some there's something wrong. There's something he's, he's not been dropped on his head. Yeah, something's not he's, right. Um, I've, and I've normally got a pretty good radar. I can, and I like to punch up. I like I like to hang shit on the good looking bloke with the pretty girlfriend that can take it. And if and if they and if they're in and if they're enjoying, if they're not enjoying getting a bit of shit on, I, I move I move on quickly. I'm not there to yep. ruin everyone's anyone's night. No, I just want to have some fun. But this guy, I couldn't fucking work him out. He, like he, and, and 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 I sort of had a chat with him, and it became. Clear just by the silence and the uh, in the room that the tension, the, the tension. He wasn't quite right. Yes, but he kept NQR, ye- not a little bit NQR, but he he kept yelling shit. Mm. And I was like, okay, how are we how are we going to deal? How's this going to play out? It's and hard. you could you could see everyone else sort of going, all right, how's uh, how's Tom? Old how's this going to how's this going to play out? But yeah. I, I was myself at that stage. I was okay. at the first half, so I wasn't the suburban footballer. Anyway, and then. I got to the break and I'd sort of, sort of half got away with it. Went to get a beer at the break. President's come up and he said, "Mate, Sorry I reckon you handled that. I reckon you handled that pretty well." He's, uh, he's, he's a, he's a different sort of a cat. There's a he's few a, he's a, cows loose in the top paddock. He's a bit of a different. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's a different sort of a cat. And I said, "Oh, great, oh, great." Anyway, so I, I think I fuck him off. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any chance we can? 
fu- ring that guy's parents and fuck him off home because I don't want him <laughs> to ruin my night. He's really killing my vibe up there. No, yeah. I said, all right, well, at least I know now. And yeah. I thought, second half, was- I'll just keep going the same. If he yells something out, you know, we just sort of uh, – just sort of pretend, it pretend it's not happening. Pretend if it gets too happen. much, you diffuse it, but you don't hang shit on him. Yep. And then, um, but it come out in the second half, and uh, he's fucking fired he's up. He's fired up. He's fired up because I don't know whether it's he might not have been the full quid, but that certainly wasn't stopping him from feeding piss into this bloke. He was drinking beers wow. at a rate of fucking knots. Well, his money's just as good as anyone just else's as money. His money's not in QA. His money's <laughs> fucking... Mate, it's got the queen on it. It's got. She hasn't got a bung yeah. eye or nah, something like that. Is this a counterfeit yeah. money? Nah, is this, is this was, your special, it was, you know, yeah. NQR money? Mate, nah, so this, this, is, this guy's fucking polo. And he's Did start, he straighten up? No, no, he there was he was going downhill. And, um, yeah. and he's, but he started to... Um, he started to do a few zingers, like, <laughs> like out of the. I um, I forget. I said that I'm in. I'm the suburban football an hour and uh, and and it's going well. But then he start. He started yelling out, "Maybe you need a water boy," and um, <laughs> and that got a massive laugh and like a huge laugh. That's and crazy. and the last thing he, this fucking bloke needed was encouragement. Was encouragement. And now he thinks any time he yells out "water boy." He like it's gold quality H two O. This guy's timing is fucking right off the mark. Like you yeah. get your mid about to nail the punchline. Ah, uh, here we go. They're gonna love this joke. Here's the punchline. Maybe you need a water boy. Uh, and it, but it's getting laughs because yeah. everyone's sort of appreciating this the insanity of it. It's crazy. And, um, uh, and it's nuts. And um. So I'm just like, fuck me, what do I do about this bloke? And I'm like, hey, we're all having fun, buddy. Maybe just uh, pipe down there a bit, you know. Hey, we're. Uh, you you know. should have told him to go to the club rooms and get all the bottles and start filling them up. You can be my water boy. Ah. So that might have fucked him off. If you've got to fill up 18 bottles or something, that's gonna he's going to be gone for no, 10 he, or 15 minutes. He wasn't a water boy. He was a beer boy. He was, okay. uh, he was down in beers like it was his last day on earth. Mm. And um, at the end of the show... Um, he's come up and he's it's my first chat with him after the show and he he hasn't fucked the show but he's, and what's he looked is he is he wearing a beanie that sort of pulled out down over his eyes is well, he, he didn't look, has he got tracksuit pants that show his ass and you see some of his, his pubes ar- oh his ass was you could see his ass crack I think there's something about maybe some people who are a little bit NQR that's the first um, thing to go the the, the elastic in the their elastic pants in their is the first thing to go. Dad. Um, <laughs> that is the least of their worries. They, the, uh, did he have um, what was his uh, physique a, like? Physique. He was a big boy. He so, was a, so was there a bit of gut show? Oh, he was a big boy, and it, and so after the show, I put on some um, some tunes. Uh, to, so everyone, because it was clear, everyone was just pumped. Everyone wanted to dance, and yeah. I had a mate there, so I wanted to hang around and have a chat with him. So, so I just put on some tunes, and everyone was up dancing. I turn around. And this guy's got his top off. Oh, um, yeah. He's out of control. He's, the the, the and, water boy. The water boy. He's out of control. And he's, um, he's uh, no one's stopping him. They just keep pumping piss into this nah. guy. And um, everyone, he's having a great time. The girls think he's hilarious. He's having fun. I thought, oh, how good's that? Do you reckon they're hilarious? Because um, they say uh, chicks like a guy with a sense of humour, they're sort of like, they're not going, oh, I want to fuck him though, are they? No. 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 It's no. just like, that's, that's hilarious, but I'm glad... He's not my boyfriend. Girls don't like a bloke. Girls like hanging out. They like a guy with a sense of humour being there. Yeah. Oh, the amount of times I'd be out with my mates, meet girls, life of the party, yeah. oh, doing zingers. Woo, I hey, got him. Hey. Yeah, the girls are laughing. Come hey, home with fun, me. How fun's Tommy? How fun's Tommy? Last dance, everyone clears off, and I'm there, hey, you're there. I'm there <laughs> yelling out pants with, my, your with my top off and no elastic in my pants, yelling out, water boy! <laughs> and, uh, and they've all gone home with these girls every fucking yeah. Saturday night. So, yeah, um, yeah. Anyway, so this guy, and then he's, it's very clear he's not a lair, but, um, <laughs> but anyway, so he's fucking, this guy's going crazy. And um, and he's coming up to me going, it's his thing now. It's his, um, he's, it's his. He's got that nickname for the rest of his life. Water boy. Water and, he's, boy. and he's everything on, like, water boy. And then, um, so, so end of the night, chuck all the shit in my car, drive home. Um, and I got home about two o'clock AM because oh, the gig was a fair way away. Get home about 2 AM and it's fucking freezing. 
I'm not I'm not packing up my gear. No. So I just um I I just locked the car, went to bed, had to get up in the morning to do something early, walked out to the car, Ooh. written in the mud on my back windscreen, water, water boy, boy. <laughs> and a big dick and balls. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's fucking haunting me. This guy. Did you look? Was he? Was he? Was he downstairs? Did you check the garage? Was he hiding in the front yard? Was he in your back seat? Well, he's obviously done it back at the club, but I didn't he see him at the have. club. And I tell you what, it was fucking nearly scary. It was weird, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Because I'd forgotten about him, and then I was like, "Fucking water boy, he's yeah, he's a uh, he's a uh, haunting you, Tommy." It was uh, it was something else. So uh, well, big, uh, go. yeah, uh, good on you. That's good, good but that, that's good. He's, he's, the thing is, he's had the greatest night of his life. Oh, I hear that. That is unbelievable. And, and I think most other people, it, it, you know, I wasn't there, but it, it affected the show, but it made the show something. Um, it gave it a something one-off. different. It made gave it a one off. Yeah, people gave like it a one-off. To think they're experiencing a one off. A one off. And, and they, that's certainly, great. Uh, they certainly, certainly had that thanks to old, uh, old Waterboy. Old Waterboy. There, dancing so, up a storm. Uh, beautiful stuff, mate. That's, yeah, uh, so that that's was. Good. Uh, that's good. Uh, that's, uh, that's that's something else. So what do you got, got for us? So, uh, well, Robin? I had uh, – you sent me out to a gig with uh, the great Chris Franklin and yep. uh, another comic uh, now a few weekends ago. And uh, I'd, I'd done the gig before. Uh, should I mention the club? Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, we went out to Devon Meadows, footy, footy and netball club. And, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd done that about four years ago. Yep. I'd done the cricket club. Great room for comedy. It's a great club. It's a great club. It is a great club. They had Hodgie down there a few weeks ago. He played three quarters. He, he had a compound fracture of his finger. His finger went through his skin. They, they fucked his finger. But yeah, um, They had the Lidio a couple of years before that. The oh, or the year before that, play, play yep. with them. Yep, yep. yep. So, uh, and, and they're going all right on the ladder. Lang Warren of the team to beat, but they, um, they just lost to him by about nine points. So they're round about the mark. Yep. Things are going well. So I thought, this is great. I've, I've been here before. They've had comedy before. Yep. This is going to be a great gig. We've got the bloke, Chris Franklin. I'm emceeing. We turn up. I feel like got... it's a country club in a metro league. And they sort of said that because you've got your big Lang Warrens. You've got your, that, you know, there's a lot of people around. Devon Meadows is just sort of that. That sort of little town yeah, I mean, on the they're way to the island. Chelsea's and I mean they're yeah. really uh, real suburbia those those places. Yeah, they you know they're down there. Chelsea's near the beach and the yeah. Edith Aspendale sort of Devon Meadows are just sort of out the bloody out the back there, just sort yeah. of on the way to Shitter's Ditch. Yeah. So yeah, they hanging out there and, and they know they're the, you know they may be a little a club you know trying to compete with the big boys, yeah. but they've got some good recruits. Things are going well, so things are positive. I thought and when a team's doing well. You think the, the gig's going to go great? Gig, you, yeah, would assume spirits are high. Gig's good. Spoke to the president. Great fella. Great fella. Tipping them in. And uh, we aim to kick off at about 8 o'clock. The room's set up beautifully. The big round tables, which uh, you said you're yeah, not a big fan of. No, nah, round the, tables. Oh, I, I, uh, I have no tables at all. Especially round tables. What if you rock up and they're all set up with like uh, little uh, tablecloths and... Seats all around. Yeah, you, you can't move. Well, well I, I, I try and word tables. them up uh, beforehand, and um, I uh, and it's it's that old. What would Dave Grant do? We've discussed this before. DJ, what would Dave Grant do? A legend of Australian comedy who's uh, no longer with us. It's a saying because you, you walk in a room and it, you know it's going to be a pain in the ass, yeah. but it's fucking it's worth it to tinker a few things. I'll move that light. Yeah. I'll I'll turn that table there. I'll get rid of the tables. I'll, I'll knock I'll, over. The, the, I'll knock over the water boy prick. Because so many times you get on, yeah, out. I'll uh, I'll take I'll ask the water boy if he wants to come out for a smoke and kick the shit, kick out, of him, shit so, out of him. So yeah, it doesn't come back in. Yep. Little, those little one percenters that can. Yeah. Can really improve a gig because quite often you get on stage and you're like, you know what? I should have done that. I should have fucking done that. I should have yeah. moved that light. I should have, yeah, got rid of water. So boy. we had the setup all right. We had that sound was great. I set up the sound. Lighting was good. Their oh, sound? My sound. Because well, they yeah. have sound, I think. Yeah, but they said it's, it's it was a bit a, shit. It was a bit old. Okay. Uh, they're going to go up through the roof, which, yeah, that's fucking shit. No, nah, that's well. Shit. That's no good. So set it up ourselves. Get the lights, rearrange the tables. So, because some of the tables, so I thought if everyone fills up, it's going to be fine. It's going to be yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. So, do the five minute warning. Are you ready for a big night of comedy? Woo! Not too bad. You know, three or four. Come on, you can do better than that. Ready yep. for a big night. Cool, sweet. 
and uh, start the gig. Start the gig. All right, welcome to the stage, Evan Hawking. Things are going well, and so if I'm looking out from the stage to the left, all the young cats, all the young yep. crew. They're they're a young side. They're a young team. They're on the up. Yep. And uh, noticed a, a few, you know, cool sort of dudes. Yeah. Noticed a few cool sort of chicks. Just yep. one chick came in and she oh, was freezing. She wasn't wearing a bra. And okay. Poof, she almost took out someone's eye. Yeah, you don't like to see that you at a comedy night. You don't like to see that. No. So, uh, but you still think, I mean, they know the comedy's here. Yeah. The things are going, they bought a ticket. They bought a ticket to the comedy. They, 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 even if they've never been to comedy, they're like, this This will be sweet. Yeah. So, I reckon about two minutes in. You sort of get a bit of a vibe on your first few jokes. Yeah. How are things going? There's a bit of a murmur in the room. There's a few like talking yep. over here. There's yep. a little spot fire over there. Yep. There's uh, older crew, maybe some of the sponsors up the front who are okay. even a bit chatty. Okay. Getting a bit blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, right, oh, champ. Just chill out. Let me get through my jokes. Yeah. So I realize there's going to be a bit of an issue here. There's, uh, you know, I didn't see it, but Franklin said, you know, there's girls on their TikTok. There's like okay. one bloke at, uh, he came out of the, out of the toilets. He was Polax, maybe some other stuff. He yep. had four goes at sitting on his chair. Yep. He fucked it up four from four. So he's okay. gone to sit on his chair. He rolled off and just fucking, oh Jesus! He went to go yep. again. He fell off again. I'm thinking. It's a bit going on here. Yeah. There's a bit going on. And that's early. That is early. Okay. That is early. So, uh, and then, um, uh, so jokes, getting there, just like I said, little murmurs. Then I thought, well, fuck it. I'm going to pull out the big guns here. They said, the president worded me up. I got someone. Oh, hang on. Mate. We're doing it. No, no, go, come in. You need to go to the toilet. I'm going to go. Go. No, we're no, just doing get in the there. pod. No, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. chef from the comics lounge is just... Come to do coke in the dunnies. But, we're, in the, uh, uh, we're in the green room. Yeah, we're in the, the green room. No, he's going to do. He's going to do a shit. I think. Yeah, it's um, a bit of a uh, make a few cigars. Bit of an unwritten rule about shitting in the green room on on the night of comedy. A couple of times we've all been in here. Everyone's been having fun. Then someone's just come and dumped a shit in there. It's just rank. Well, yeah, I don't know if the ventilation no. is that great. The exhaust fan is um, not a lot of not a lot of airflow in this. Mate, the heating's good though. Heating's it's great. Yeah. Warm. I am warm. Uh, so anyway, so president's worded me up. He said they got this new recruit. I had a look at him. He goes, he's oh, I've got a fart all of a sudden. Yeah, okay, no, do it go. into the mic. Um, you go. Uh, this new recruit, he's going well. Got his name. I yep. sort of had a look at him. He's got the jeans that are sort of. He's got the no sock sort of look. Got the no sock yeah. look. I it looks good, but it's just not practical. Too uh, cold. Too cold. Exactly. Practicality, mate. Out at Devon Meadows, you, you don't need it. But yeah, need he's it. wearing it. He's wearing yep. it. He's looking good. He's got, uh, I don't know if he had a tattoo when he had, his sort of hair was uh, sort of blondish hair and um, sort of looked like an old he mate could. from Melbourne, was it, with the big chompers? Uh, um, what's his name? Harms. Harms. A couple of times I've been out of that club, Harms has been there just yeah, hanging that's around. That's his home club. Oh, okay. There's a photo of him on the wall. Oh, okay. Yeah. It wasn't Harms, was it? It wasn't Harms. No, he's, he's playing for Melbourne. He's not playing for Devon Meadows. Yeah, no, good yeah, he point. still plays. I, yeah, I don't point. think you can really double up. Melbourne probably aren't a fan. Hey, Goody, yeah. mate, can I just go and help out? They're playing the top side. Devin Meadows would be okay with it. But Devin Melbourne, Meadows would yeah. love it, but I don't reckon Goody, be, if he just goes, hey, Goody, mate, they're playing the top team, Lang Warren, this week. Can I just drop out to old Devin Meadows and fucking have a run around, mate, under a false name? Yeah. Yeah. You can't, yeah. Maybe Wayne Harms. Oh, they don't know. He's in his 60s. On. He's in his 60s. Yeah. I reckon I He's could... Just, uh, should I try and do this little pop for Yeah, it, uh... do a little pop, mate. <laughs> do <laughs> it. it. You reckon? I haven't farted for a while. No, it's been a while in between. Yeah. Eh? Are we going for time? Go. Mate, like we're at uh, we're at 19. Yeah, so yeah so let's, let's do a time. To go. All right, yeah, rip into it. Rip into it. Here we go. Jeez, there's a real build-up with your farts. There's no real... You're not hiding anything. Tight little sphincter. Here we go. All right. Oregon's going to... No, you're going back up. No. Just not sure what's going to come out. Yeah. Hang on. It's a little little Cuban. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you go. must have the tightest oh, arsehole it's like a, out of anyone. It's like it really it's, whistles. It's like how do you how do you get a shit out? Painfully. Painfully. <laughs> you My, are, uh, you're popping out little rabbit pellets. Oh, it's a, it's a nightmare. Are you what are you eating? Are you you just sound like you're in pain. That the, the fart really sounds like it. Oh. Real, 
Help me. It's like a, um, it's like a dog howling at the, uh, the, the full moon. moon. At the full moon. Oh, 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 but, um, help me. Yeah, so good to get another fart on the uh, Yeah, that's good. On the pot. That's good. I'm feeling all right, so I don't know if I'll get one. But, that's uh, all right. Anyway, so I thought, I saw our old mate, and he sort of looked like he was, not Harmsy, he looked like he was, maybe he could have been in a boy band. Ah, one of them. So I thought, all right, all right. So, so I said his name. I said, oh, mate, good to have you over. I asked, um, well, I asked the president, Where, where'd you get him from? And then I had a look at you. I thought, fuck, were you in One Direction last year or some yep. shit like that? Yep. Which uh, got a little bit of a laugh, but it's uh... at, um Maybe it wasn't the greatest line, but I no. reckon, you know, those footy clubs where where they're raucous and they're on board with you? Yep. That would kill. Yep. See, I think they took his side. Ah, they're like, this that's fucking spud redhead. Yeah. We're not right into him. So it sort okay. of it, it, it went okay, but I thought I'm not going back there because I didn't get enough love. Yep. Where I, th- I, think, I think maybe young kids these days, they don't get the... They're sort of not ripping shit on each other. They're more like, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Oh, it depends on the grade. Yeah, it's it's a tough. What one. are you thinking? Yeah, uh, I think they're hanging a lot of shit. I think young blokes are hanging a fair hanging bit of shit, shit on shit, each but other. But they don't yeah. want the comic, the forty-year-old loser, no, ripping shit on their mate. No, they don't want no. that. And then, and, and, and he actually said, he said, he he yelled out, "Okay, well, oh, looks." I said, "Looks like you come from One Direction," and he sort of yelled out a bit later. He goes, "One Erection." How'd that go? Well, it didn't really get much, and so okay. it all it just became this awkward just sort of thing. Flat. And then his missus, she was pretty hot, and I said, "Well, your missus is here, so it's more like forty erections," which mm. probably wasn't the greatest thing. No. But sort of just sinking this thing into the fucking ground a bit. Yeah, yeah. Looks so, not a look, not bad, not bad. Back to the wall, but back to the wall. They weren't right on board. So it always seems a little bit worse. Oh, hundred percent. When they don't like you. Well, not oh, that they didn't works. like me, but they just didn't. Um, I didn't never really had them, had mm, them for because yeah, there was yeah. talking. There was the bloke falling off his seat. There was a bit of jibber jabber over here. Yep. So I was just punching, punching, punching. I did about eighteen minutes, and I thought it, it was thrown on uh, young Drew, Drew Vire. Yep, Drew. Who, um, you know, he's he's he good. He's good. He's got some good well. stuff. Got but some good stuff. He's those, going all right. Yep. But um, hasn't done many footy clubs. Footy clubs, as you know, they're not. And this one was a bit different. Like most footy clubs are, are pretty good. This was just tough sledding. Yeah, this was tough going. So I thought, Oof, he's uh, really got to bring his A game. Yeah, okay. He started. He started, and just a bit long winded early. So he's watching but, you, a seasoned footy club uh, performer, just basically just, chop it up the ass. And he's not thinking, copping it not up, cop the it up the ass. Chop it up the ass. That's a bit strong, but c- not clutching. Yeah, and, treading. So he's shitting himself. He's, he's on the sideline. He's shitting himself. He's like, yeah, he's like tag team wrestler. <laughs> don't uh, tag me in. Don't tag me in. Don't tag me in. I might fuck off back to the change rooms yep. and uh, take this by yourself. Yep. I don't know why I agreed to the gig. Yeah. And uh, well, the first the first problem he did because he doesn't have a car. <laughs> I said, so I said, have you got a car? And he goes, ah. Fuck, no, I don't have a car. Franklin doesn't have a car. So all of a sudden, I'm trying to fucking... Where did I end up picking him from? I don't know. Where was yeah. I during the day? I was somewhere during the day. Ah, uh, fuck, whatever. That's not the point of the story. Not at, at all. Get to the fucking point. Ever! So he gets up there. First joke, bit long-winded, gets to the punch. They're not there. They're not there. No. They're not there. They're talking. They're TikToking. Um, One Direction is, you know, working on his music career. Uh, you know, things are not happening. Yeah. And then if you're not if you're not punchy, then you're it's not going to get them back because then at, at, you're, you're trying to claw them back, and, and it's it, hard to watch in it. When it's you're... hard to watch because I knew how tough, how hard I was working, pulling out this, pulling out that. At, at maybe Big Drew, he just doesn't have the he doesn't have the boom, boom, boom. Didn't have as many uh, as many tricks up tricks his sleeve, up his sleeve at this so, stage so, of his career. Yeah. So uh, he's going. He's, he's sort of like saying so that. A lot of the, Devon Meadows, they don't really care what your thoughts on life are. They don't care on your thoughts on this and that. But anyway, so Drew's not doing that well. Gets to it. And, you know, all good though. Gets to about 14. Yeah. So I'm out. I'm out. And I said to Franklin, I said, well, it's sort of got to a point where probably got to say something to just break the, yep. the tension. Yeah. The tension. The tension. So Drew, 
is uh, he's got a bit of Indian in him. Okay. He's got the beard. And, uh, yeah, he's doing a bit of material about being Indian and yep. stuff about um, Pakistani match fixes and shit yep. like that. So I thought maybe I'd do something here just to break the tension. Yeah. Now, I don't usually like doing it, but I went with a I went with a stereotype. Okay. I got up there and I go, give it up for Dhruv Iyer. Little smattering of applause. And I said, yeah, he was actually, um, it was just a bonus act tonight. He's, um, he's actually our Uber driver. Oh, good. Surely that um, fucking took the roof off. Oh, he's back. Took the roof off. And All said, they wanted was some racism. He just wanted some racism. I said, yeah, he told us he was funny. That has literally, they are dropping their TikTok. On, yeah. they're, they're, they're trying to look for, or the chicks are trying to find me on Tinder. The blokes are worshipping me. Old One Direction, he's knobbing me off. I go, yeah, Jesus they're making, uh, Christ. They're, they're making clan hoods. The, the this, spot, is, uh, this, is, <laughs> this is just a... They're worshipping me. Yeah. They're burning Indian flags. They're it's, fucking... Uh, yeah. They've got a they've got a pinata of Drew and they're smashing. What did, uh, what did what did Drew think about your little uh, kick mate, in the guts while he was down, mate? Afterwards, desperate times. Afterwards, you gotta... he took it really. Well. He goes, mate, you fucking had to do something. That was fucking great. <laughs> that was great. So yeah, um, yeah, it was it was, it was tough sledding, but uh, the racism brought him back. Uh, the the old stereotype yep. Uber driver that got him back on board. Yeah. They they carried me out of the joint. I bought Franklin on. He he did about forty minutes. He uh, they were fucking still piping up for him. He go right. He he went all right. Yeah. But like I said, it was work. it was tough. It was work. It was tough. it was work. The TikTok and the spot fires. But uh, good times and uh, yeah. But back to you, mate. Good. Oh Thanks mate. Well, I, mate, I haven't got a I haven't got a heap. I did a uh, what else have we just uh, uh, looking through here. Um, did a, uh, a good old fashioned Sunday session at a at a footy club uh, recently, and um, and funny, the they had a have you heard of Crown and Anchor, uh, the card game, card game. Yeah, I've heard of it, but I don't know it. I'm I'm not the only thing I really know is Uno. That's the only thing I know how to play. Yeah, uh, and fifty two pick up. Yes, yeah. that's it. Yeah. So I'm this fucked. is and and so it's what they're doing. They're having a reverse draw at this club. Um, and they, I was talking to the president. And he said, "Ah, oh, mate, we had a club recently. They had a uh, they had a ten thousand dollar reverse draw. A Great. club just down the road from them. Big, big prize all over Facebook. Ten thousand dollars, and um, and they're about to kick this this show off. They have room two hundred people. Uh, about to about to draw the first of I think it was four hundred um four hundred tickets. tickets. Free booze for the day. Entertainment. Roast beef rolls." Woo! About to kick it off, all of a sudden, through the door, walks the gaming uh, author- authority. authority. The gaming authority. Yep. Walks up. Where's the president? Uh, over here. He's in his car. They've gone over. Because the, the reverse draw is illegal. Yes. You hear different things, but at the end of the day, if it's for $10,000, a reverse draw is illegal. I heard, because I know some clubs do this, so they they draw out the first ball. Yeah, that's what ball, you have to do. Draw yeah. out the first ball, put that aside. Yeah. yeah. So put that aside. But the only negative about that is is when you have a reverse draw and you get down to five, There's... you can then say, All right, we're chucking five more balls in. Let's auction these off. And people will buy these balls for five hundred, yeah. six hundred bucks to try and get to have a one in ten Back chance in of winning ten grand. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and and people get groups together. So syndicates. Syndicates. So so you can make an extra make an extra few Whoa. grand. But if you take the ball out right at the start, you can't do that because no. the win is already in that. The win is there already in that envelope. That's true. Anyway, so anyway, so at this uh, this club down the road, um, uh, the the gaming authorities walked in. Where's the president? What are they what? wearing? Do they look sort of tough? The gaming authority. I wasn't, there. They little... I wasn't there. Okay. No, this is uh, this is a story oh. the president was telling me. All right. And um, anyway, that, so they've just walked up to the guy who's emceeing, about to pull out the first ball, and he said, "All right." And the the guy from the gaming has got on stage, and he said, "All right, uh, the reverse draws are illegal, so the first ball is the winner." Ooh. And so he's pulled the winner ball out, and he goes, "This person's won ten thousand dollars," and shows over, bar shut, everyone go home. Well, you shouldn't be able to shut the bar. You're well, still allowed well, to drink, aren't well, you? Well, that was a, his way of pe- penalising him. Uh, but I'll tell you, the real winner would have been the, the footy um, club. The fucking footy club. They didn't have to 
have 200 people free piss first. They've still made... They've still made their money. They've still made their money. And eh? they haven't had to give away free piss. No, they'd have a truckload of uh, roast beef Shit and gravy loads. and rolls. They'll be selling that for the rest of the year. Yeah, yeah, but they didn't have to lose all the all the free piss, but they didn't They didn't maybe have to get, clean up any vomit. There wasn't auction to, items. Yeah, um, and anyway, so, so, so this president at this club I did, he was stressing. He goes, mate, we can't do it. We can't do it. He goes, what we've got to do, we've got to do it by the law. And this, was, this one was only for two grand. Yep. Um, he said, so we'll pull out the first one, put it in the envelope, stick it on the wall. Great. And then, and he goes, what we're going to do during the break is we, I, we put out some tables and we play crown and anchor and we basically have gambling. And I said, mate, I think, How do you play crown I think and that, that it is irrelevant you sticking that ball to the wall in an envelope when you're basically running an illegal fucking casino during the break. Yeah. And he said, that's, a, that's an excellent point. But he still... He, he couldn't really see that. So so they went – they did this crown and anchor game. I've never seen anything like it. It was 40, 50 blokes around this table. Just – I think it was six, just six squares and just – it was like – it was like a fucking Mexican casino. It was like the casino. It was. Oh, I was. I've, I've never seen anything like that at a casino. This was like a Mexican cockfighting racket or something. It was fucking chaos. Everyone. There was just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Like three, four hundred dollars on the table. They'd roll the dice. Fucking swipe it away. People would win. Club Who's it. dealing? Have they got a proper dealer? Oh, some bloke there just shit himself. Just fucking getting yeah, knocked out of the way. Yeah, and, he's, um, he's in trouble. So it. So it's it's bloody. Uh, it's carnage. Just joints. It's a sausage festival. There's three girlfriends over in the corner wishing they were at home. Wishing they'd never wishing got they'd involved. Never, with never their walked into the joint. But I don't know if I mentioned this the other night. One of the weirdest traditions I've ever seen. Did I mention that in the last episode about the clock? Uh, I don't think so. So I'm on stage doing the suburban football. It's going well, but it was clear that these guys just want to play Crown and Anchor. So, oh. so, so they're not getting me 30-minute version. These guys are getting a getting fucking 12-minute 12, 12 version. Yep. And I'm five minutes into the into the show, and I, I, just when you think you've seen everything, one bloke started going, smash the clock, smash the clock. And I'm just going... Is that, is that one of the bloke's nicknames? Well, Some I didn't fuck know. with at the club? I don't know. I said, who's clock? And then... A few other people have joined in. Before you know it, like the 50 players who are all blind are all chanting, smash the clock, smash the clock. And I'm just I'm on the stage thinking, I hope I'm not the fucking clock. I, I, hope, <laughs> I really hope I, they don't think I'm a clock because this, this isn't You're good. standing there with one arm up to the – one arm straight, just one to the right. I'm, I'm, Fuck, maybe uh, I am. I am a clock. I'm ripping me watch off, off fucking throwing me watch off. across the room. And anyway, so out of this pack of 50 people, mid-show, five minutes into this show, one bloke has just come fucking sprinting out of the group and there's a clock up on the wall and he's just fucking done like a... Like a... Superman. Like a Dominic Wilkins sort of... Tomahawk Tomahawk. Jam. And just with his hand, and just smash this this clock when into we, a, into a hundred pieces. When we the, talk about it, is it a big clock? Is it just a little it was, regular no, it was house a, it was clock? A standard house clock. I would say thirty meters wide. Mm. Not thirty meters wide. That's a big clock. Um, thirty centimeters. Yeah, wide. thirty meters is a probably uh, that's, a, a bit oversized for that's a clock. A, that's probably the that, biggest. That's clock probably in the, the Flinders world. Street. That's bigger than Flinders that's Street Station. Flinders that's bigger Street. than Big Ben. Yeah. So anyway, so it, it smashed and the boys have cheered. Like they're fucking hugging each other and it, it's just party time. And um, I can't compete with that. Well, I don't, was it because Happy Hour was ending? Why were they, no, why no. Were they I, later the on clock? I said to the president, I said, what, what was with Smash the Clock? And he goes, oh, just three or four times a year. Uh, I don't know. Just They just start chanting Smash the Clock and someone just runs up and smashes the clock. And I was talking to one of the players and I said, well, hopefully it's not. 28 minutes into the last quarter when the, they go into the timekeeper's room and go, smash, smash the, the clock. clock. Smash the, or the scoreboard. They just oh, smash yeah. the scoreboard. Smash the scoreboard. Jesus, what's going on? We're, we're a goal up in the grand final. Why have you, why are they called smash the well, clock Maybe that now? is a good time to smash the clock. Depends you're if you're up. up or down. Yeah. Well, if, yeah. You're, if you're up, it's great. Great time. If you're down, it's not good. And I was talking to one of the players and I said, mate, where did that start from? And he was just pumped. He goes, mate, isn't that one of the great, Great fucking traditions. And I said, well, well, it's not bad, but it's 
it's different. It's certainly different. Depends but, if you're paying said, for the clocks. Yeah, well, he said they all uh, just chuck in two bucks and um, someone goes down to Kmart and gets another clock. Yeah, that's not bad, I guess, if you're replacing it. Yeah, that's so they right. replace it and a uh, new clock goes up and next function they smash a clock. So That's not bad. I, I, I don't, it's something different. It's something It's, something a, bit it's, it's a bit of bonding. It's a bit of, uh, yeah, yeah. I wasn't yeah, sure how they chose who smashed the clock. Is it maybe a wink? Is it like a... I don't know, whose time is it? Or maybe it's whoever's got the batteries. Tell to you what, you wouldn't have wanted to go to smash the clock and and failed and missed or or not, maybe and cut, not smash the clock. Cut. Cut yourself? How, it's sort of just plastic. It's, the, oh, it was the, a cheap clock. That's no, a cheap clock, When yeah. you're smashing them five clocks a year, you're not going top shelf. No, you're not going, um, you know, handmade bloody clocks. Yeah, so... Uh, anyway, that's, that's uh, a weird one. Yeah, it's something... Uh, th- which is when you think you've seen everything, uh, yeah, it throws a little curveball. Fuck, we better... Uh, we better get out of here, mate. That, we've, got, uh, uh, we've got shit yeah, to do. Yeah, thanks for that. Uh, we, uh, hope, don't, don't you smash the clock. Um, no, don't smash uh, the don't clock, Don't smash guys. the clock. But, hey, give us a rating. Give us a review. Get us on the YouTube. Things are pumping, I think. I don't know, because this is about yeah. two weeks ago recorded this. I hope you're still listening. Tell your mates about it. Get on the Instagram. That is another episode of... And next week, we're, 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 we're going to catch back. up. We're going to catch up. and we're, we, we, we'll be Two weeks of wedding, honeymoon. Of, oh, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be good fun. Yeah, it's going to be, be good, good stuff. We're going to so, have a lot uh, to talk yeah, about. We're so, back. Uh, I'll be tanned. I'll be uh, looking, looking sharp. Thanks for listening. All right. That's you. another episode. Good, 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 good. Bad, bad, bad. bad. Oh, <laughs>